For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. been involved with uh, student activism and then with the Kisan Sabha now almost for 25 years. I have not seen this kind of a movement and the solidarity that is being generated around that movement. Uh, the uh, cross-class alliances, the kind of um, varied number of uh, different uh, organizations coming together. Uh, firstly, the different farmer organizations under the All India Kisan Sangar's Coordination Committee the Punjab organizations and uh, 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 also the trade unions and different mass organizations, civil society groups coming out in support of the farmers. This is something I have never seen before. And if you see the uh, uh, farmers from Punjab and Haryana who are mainly at the two uh, Tikri and um, Singhu borders, also those at the Ghazipur border, they have all, they know it is a long haul. It is not something, uh, they know that this uh, government is um, bent on pushing the corporate interest, but they are also prepared to go uh, uh, till the, uh, take the fight to the finish. Why did a government in the midst of a pandemic with, you know, second or third worst in the world with daily cases has a thousand things demanding its attention, but it passed these laws. There was a reason for that. Its calculation was that the farm, that the farming community and the working class are at this moment helpless, cannot hit back, cannot organize. They are cowed down by COVID, pulverized by the pandemic. These guys can't hit back at us. That was a terrible miscalculation. Logically, it was a very, very valid assumption to make. But it misfired in that the farmers of Punjab, Haryana and nearby states did not accept that assumption and flouted. The second thing is that um, I love this idea of consultation after the fact. Hmm. The consult, even the government in its supposed discussion, is admitting that these that these amendments, these new laws, were enacted enacted for trade and commerce, and any consultation that took place took place with the biggest of big businesses in this country. Hmm. It it did that. There was no consultation of farmers. The government is committed to WTO and government is committed to Ambani Adani like corporates. So government can't go back uh, uh, from their words to these corporates. That is number one. But uh, that itself shows that us always, this government is uh, always keeping uh, in mind the profit and well-being of the corporates only. Yeah,